confrontation, call it what you will, with Iran. Uh, should our leadership, including the current president of the United States and the four gentlemen here with me tonight, be prepared to look the American people in the eye and say, and I want to hear everybody's plans. Over the long run, I think I can bring down the price of gasoline. Or I can't, if that's your plan. Uh, but at the moment, we need to have a conversation about how, as long as this continues, the prices are likely to keep going up. Look, the price of gasoline pales in comparison to the idea of Ahmadinejad with nuclear weapons. Ahmadinejad having fissile material that he can give to Hezbollah and Hamas and that they can bring into Latin America and potentially bring across the border into the United States to, to let off dirty bombs here. I mean, this, or, or, or more sophisticated bombs here. This, we simply cannot allow Iran to have nuclear weaponry. And, and, and this president has a lot of failures. It's hard, it's hard to think of uh, economically his failures, his, his policies on a whole host of areas have been troubling. But nothing, in my view, is as serious a failure as his failure to deal with Iran appropriately. This president, this president should have placed, put in place crippling sanctions against Iran. He did not. He decided to give Russia... He decided to give Russia their number one foreign policy objective, removal of our missile defense sites from Eastern Europe, and got nothing in return. He could have gotten crippling sanctions against Iran. He did not. When dissident voices took to the street in Iran to protest a stolen election there, instead of standing with them, he bowed to the election. This is a president who has made it clear through his administration and almost every, every communication we've had so far that he does not want Israel to take action that he opposes military action. This is a president who should have instead communicated to Iran that we are prepared, that we are considering military options. They're not just on the table, that are in, they are in our hand. We must not allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon. If they do, the world changes, America will be at risk, and someday nuclear weaponry will be used. If I'm president, that will not happen. If we reelect Barack Obama, it will happen.